So a Glock 19 is boring. The Glock 19 has been out and available since the late 80s. By the way, I've been doing this a long time. I, I know I don't look that old, I know. <laughs> I'm a little under 103. If you buy one, it's not the kind of thing that everyone was gonna give you a bunch of likes on on the internet. The Glock just doesn't look cool. Like if you're super into utilitarian things, you may have an appreciation for it from that perspective, but it's not flashy, there's no bling. It is kind of like the stock from the dealer Toyota Tacoma or Toyota 4Runner of the gun world. It's not, it's kind of cool, but it's not that interesting. What people do is they put all the stuff on it, mill the slide, they put their optic on, they do a stipple on it, they change the grip profile, they put a new trigger on it, they put a new barrel in it, they do all of the different things to the gun to try to make it look cool. Kind of like with the same Toyota 4Runner example, right? You can have a, a stock 4Runner and then you can trick that thing out for all your overland fantasies. The same thing can happen. You can have a stock Glock 19 that works really well and then you can trick that out for all of your video game fantasies. So while nobody wants to actually buy a Glock 19, the reality is everybody should have a Glock 19. And the reason why you should have a Glock 19 is because it just works. You know, it doesn't feel the best, it doesn't have the best trigger, it doesn't have the best sights, it doesn't have the best ergonomics, it doesn't have the best highest magazine capacity, it doesn't, it's not the most accurate, it is not all of those things. But what it does really, really, really well, and probably better than any gun, is it's reliable. It just works. You can put pretty much any kind of nine millimeter ammo in it and it is gonna shoot and it's gonna shoot reliably. And it's gonna shoot accurately enough, it's gonna have a good enough trigger, it's gonna have good enough ergonomics, it's gonna have good enough sights. Because of the years that it has been in service and the number of large government entities that use the gun and of the number of professionally minded users that use the gun, it is a known commodity. When you buy a Glock 19, you know what you're gonna get. One of the other benefits is, because it is so widely adopted by so many people, is all of the support. Across the board, aftermarket support is much greater for a nine millimeter Glock platform like the Glock 19. So again, while it doesn't do anything awesome, it does everything really well. And so you buy the Glock 19, you know what you're gonna get. You know you're gonna get a gun that is reasonably accurate, that conceals reasonably well, um, that is shootable, that is durable, that is reliable. Like it does everything you need. It checks all the boxes, even though it's not super cool. This is my Glock 40. This is my problem solver right here. This is my baby, you got a problem, I'll solve it. It's a nice piece of work. The reality is most of the polymer guns that are on the market are copies of the Glock in some way. So whether you're looking at like a Walther or a CZ or a Smith & Wesson M&P or any one of the other popular common polymer framed guns, which all of those guns may have attributes that they do certain things much better. They might have awesome triggers or they might have awesome ergonomics. They're still kind of trying to be a Glock and ultimately a Glock 19 is kind of the foundation. Usually people will compare, hey, do you have a Glock 19 size version of whatever that new gun is? Because that's like the, the Glock 19 and the capacity and the size is like the best balance of concealability, reliability, shootability for most people. So when it comes to equipment, I actually don't care. If there was a better gun that was more reliable and more shootable and more universally adopted and had better support for it, I'd be glad to carry that gun. I don't work for Glock, I don't get paid by Glock. We sell accessories for handguns and the reality is there's just not the demand for the other things. Our user base is the professionally minded user and there's just not the demand in that group of people for things other than 9mm Glocks, and the Glock 19 is the primary thing. 80% of, of the holsters that we sell are for Glocks, and probably 80% of those are for Glock 19s. So I think the moral of the story is the more boring your gun is, the better it is. The boring guns are the ones that have shown themselves to be reliable. You know, you can put a bunch of flash on it. Ultimately, what most of those things are probably gonna do is decrease your reliability and actually take away from the gun. Buy the boring gun, buy the Glock 19, know that you can trust it to save your life and the life of the people you care about.